All right, let's see what this update's saying. Oh, oh, a Porsche, RWB. Oh, major update, major update. Friends, we are back playing some more Drift Legends. Welcome to this, what can only be described as pretty looking menu. Now, as part of this update, they haven't just given the menu system a lick of paint. What they've also done, as you can see, is implemented a career system. We now have progression. We have a reason to drift. Now, the amateur, professional, and special event leagues, as you can see at the moment, are not ready for business. But it doesn't matter because the beginners league is open, and the beginners league is exactly where we will begin. For obvious reasons. It doesn't matter because what I want to do now is I want to check out me Porsche. I want me Porsche. Show me me Porsche. Oh, Bay! They've put Bay in the game. The fair lady. How? When? Why? For those of you who don't know, and I'm pretty certain most of you do know, the 69 Fair Lady Z is my absolute favourite car of all time, and I wasn't expecting to see it here. Oh, I've come over all emotional. Oh. That really did knock me for six. It caught me unawares. And for that reason alone, in my mind, this update is already successful. I don't care about the Porsche. I do, I, I'm lying. I do care about the Porsche. That's the reason why I've come here. Oh, the fair lady. I can't believe it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. Black Fox. Oi, Black Fox. If you're watching, don't surprise me like that. I nearly had a heart attack, you bastards. Ah, oh, what a fantastic Christmas gift that was. Found it. The Porsche. It's wide. It's sexy. It's 890. That you what? Absolutely not. Can't afford it. Why was I so naive in thinking they'll just hand it to me on a plate? Uh, you, watching the video, if you've got a million pounds, lend it to me. I may never return it, but it doesn't matter. The Skyline GT, the original, the father of the R34. The, well, I should say the grandfather, actually, or the great-grandfather, even. Another classic car from yesteryear. Brilliant. <gasps> what? Hold on a minute. Oh. Wide body. Wide body. Hachi Roku has been given a facelift. The most important car in the history of drifting. If you do an ancestry tree and you look up drifting, the AE86, this car is what comes at the very top. And they've given it a wide body kit. They've stanced it and it's turbocharged and it's free. Oh my gosh, is there a meaner looking car in the game at the moment? I don't think there is. It looks mean and menacing. Look at those wheel arches. They look like shoulder blades. They look like Brock Lesnar's arms. Oh, every single rim fits. Oh, the decal, even the wrap looks excellent. Look at the wrap. It's custom made. Oh, it needs a bit of color though. Oh, but even in this smoky, dusty gray, it looks good. No, 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 no. We need color. We definitely need some color. Okay, what have we got? Rouge, orange, bleu. Real men wear pink. Our pink drifting missile is ready to go into battle. We are ready to start our career. Now, there are various different locations around the world we can actually participate in different events. We've got Japan, Italy, America, Germany, and uh, oh, we've even got a retro event, which I'm obviously going to save for the fair lady at some point in the future. And oh, we've got a turp, a specially made event for the turp. Now I see why the car was, we're going to do it. Less talking, more drifting. Look at the wing on that thing. It looks like it could seat a family of four obese people. We are in the AE86. I cannot believe they have upgraded it this much. It's the turbocharged. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh it's light. It's light at the back. It, it's very light at the back. Oh, taking on the first left hander. Nice, 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 nice. Oh. Now, as we saw earlier on, this is actually the turbocharged version of this car. It is not the same version that you saw me driving in the first video. And make no mistake about it, it feels different, it sounds different, it drives different, the handling is, it's all different. 
Black Fox Entertainment once again have hit the nail on the head here. Now as you can see the target score is 5,000 but we're already halfway there. The Toyota, the AE86 making me look like a drifting legend right now. And believe me I'm not that good. But regardless I'm going to set my own target. We're going for, we're going to go for 10,000 points folks. That is my target. We're going to raise the stakes. We're going to up the ante. And we're going to go for double what our target is. I believe in this car's ability to go sidewards. I believe in this car's ability to stay composed. I believe in this car's ability to avoid me looking like a cock over the hill. Slowing down on entry. Shaping up. And kicking out the back end. Yes, yes, yes. Bucket. Oh my goodness, we almost lost it. You almost tried to kill me, you idiot. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic car control. The one, one of the things I love about this game is the use of physics. Now, you can't have failed to notice that there are loads of little sections where I'm going up and downhill. You cannot, cannot. Oh! I was about to say, you cannot just throw the car into a sideways motion and expect it to do the rest for you. You've got to take into consideration whether or not you're approaching a crest or a dip because it has a compound effect on how the suspension reacts. It has a massive effect on how the car turns in and whether or not it can hold its poise when going around corners. The use of physics in this game is truly astounding. It's difficult for me to really put forward to you how this feels. The only thing I can suggest is you actually go and grab a copy of the game to see exactly what I'm talking about. I've mentioned in a few games that I've played, the hallmarks of a good game is something that's easy to play but difficult to master. And even in these early developmental stages of the game, because it's far from finished, they seem to have got that part right at least, which is great. Out of the corner, transitioning into a snake, oh yes, almost. Brilliant! There's less than oh, no, no. There's less than a minute left. We are approaching 9,000 points here. 10,000 is definitely within our grasp. Come on! The hydraulics are working. The turbos are spooling. The rear wing is working overtime to keep the car as well as my sanity in check. Every man, every woman, every child who has ever drifted with hands together in prayer because the AE86 is all things to all people. The AE86 is legendary and the AE86 has just broken the 10,000 barrier. Yes! Without a shadow of a doubt, there was still life in the old dog. What? A truly astonishing machine this is. Thank you for putting this in the game. Thank you. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That was another episode of the newly released mobile game entitled Drift Legends. It's a free download, so if you've got an Android smartphone, go and grab it from the Google Play Store now. If it's your first time around here, I wish you a born welcome. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button and if you're looking forward to Need for Speed 2017, be sure to check out all the content I've got in relation to that game including discussion videos. Links will be in the description box, they should be appearing in the top right hand of your screen now. And if you can't see them, just let this video play through to the end and there will be hot links directing you right there. Take care and I will see you when the next video comes out. Peace!